all right guys what's going on back again with another video and today uh there's a lot of stuff that i have to get into uh i've been busy yesterday so i wasn't able to put up uh a few videos um but that's okay because i'll make it up today and we got some more great news today as well so um yeah guys stay tuned all right guys before i start i just want to let you guys know that this video it might be a little bit long but uh like i said it's only because i'm trying to compile uh you know more than one video together at once so uh but this is going to be the best video i have ever made so just uh stay tuned and let's get into this so it's here it says mimic you hat gem 3 badge tech new battle party feature and more discovered in apps network traffic now let's see what that says okay so it says trainers the mimic you halloween had hinted in the recent abk mind is now officially confirmed but seems that not all text for a new battle parties feature text for the recently discovered gen 3 pokedex badge and additional utility text is now downloadable downloaded i'm sorry by the client app now here it says uh Mimic you hat uh, confirmation. Avatar underscore M underscore hat underscore Mimic you underscore icon. Mimic you's disguise hat. So basically, we're supposed to be getting a uh, Mimic you's uh, hat. Uh, you know, for the Halloween event. You know, Gen 3 Pokedex badge uh, related text. Badge underscore Pokedex underscore entries underscore Gen 3. Register zero Pokemon first discovered in the Hoenn region to the Pokedex. So all of this is already in the uh, code. And then here's his badge, underscore Pokedex, underscore entries, underscore Gen 3, underscore title, uh, Hoenn. Now, before I continue, I just wanna let you guys, I mean, put it this way. I figure you guys already know about the stuff, but uh, for those of you, like I said, that don't know, this is for you, cause I'm sure half of you, you no, know, half of you, or half of the world uh, already knows. But like I said, it's my job to get this out to you for the people that don't know. Uh, or for people that's just starting out, that's what this is mostly, you know, aimed towards. So, anyway, here it says, Pokemon underscore info underscore evolve underscore need underscore buddy underscore distance walk zero more kilometers with this buddy. Now here's battle party text. Deploy underscore battle underscore party underscore member underscore prompt warning. Zero is part of a battle party and if you assign it to a gym, it will be removed from the party so if you assign any uh battle uh party whatever to uh, the gym it will be removed because it's already in your uh your battle party uh, but like i said this is gonna be a lot so it says party underscore creation underscore error underscore max underscore hit you have no more room in your party it says delete underscore battle underscore party underscore prompt do you want to delete the zero battle party so all of that's in the data mine Here's this blacklisted app found text. Blacklisted underscore app underscore found underscore lockout. And it says we have detected software that can interfere with the operation of Pokemon Go on your device. This includes applications that falsify your location using uh, unauthorized software that directly impacts Pokemon Go. It is a violation of Niantic's terms of service and can result in the loss of your account. You will need to uninstall any such applications in order to continue gameplay. So any app that involves spoofing or anything like that or um or if it's like uh any kind of like that app we can find like the stats or whatever then uh yeah you gotta get rid of that uh, before you start actually continuing um so yeah but uh oh especially um i forgot the other one uh, it's pokey something or another. Uh, but yeah, you have to get rid of all of that. So basically, that's what that is. Um, it says here, what does all of this mean? Um, it says, for one, it's now confirmed that a new Mimic Q hat will be available during the Halloween event. This is very interesting as Mimic Q is a Gen 7 Pokemon and Niantic did not have the habit of including future Gen's apparel as event rewards before. guys stay tuned i'm about to go somewhere else stay tuned all right guys so here it says second the battle party feature is going live presumably soon if you don't remember the battle party feature is a quality of life feature 
that should enable trainers to create group of six Pokemon to use in raids and gym battles. Instead of picking your team every time, you'll be able to have it pre-picked. Kind of like when you go into the gyms and you you know you can basically uh, already pick your Pokemon. That's already we already know about that. Anyhow, it says blacklisted apps are featured and introduced in 0.79.2, but we didn't talk a lot about it as there are several obstacles to developing it, at, uh, at least with our current understanding of what Niantic can read from your device. In the past, apps could not could have read the list of other installed apps on your device. We're not aware that this is still possible, but maybe Niantic found a workaround. In any case, if this feature starts working, the text above will be displayed. Um, so that last and last, the newly added buddy distance require, requirement string is confusing the entire Go Hub team. We're not sure if this is simply a new error message or it's a hint that buddy distance could be shaping up as a new evolution requirement. We'll learn more in the future. So as they get everything, uh, basically, yeah, so that's basically it. So, um, so that's it for that. Uh, but basically what they're saying is they're trying to get everything you know, up and ready, because they're basically looking to do like a, a battle party, they're basically looking to do like a new gym, uh, you know, just rest restore the gym, so that way, you know, it'll be more things to do within the gym, but guys, stay tuned, and um, let's get into some more topics. Alright guys, now, enough about that, here's where it starts to get really good, so it says here, Gen 3 Ghosts with shiny variants, Mimikyu hat, and Halloween Pikachu icons have been found which means we'll be getting shiny ghost type Pokemon also. It says, trainers, the client app is now downloading the following icons in the background. All of the Gen 3 ghost Pokemon hinted on the loading screen, normal and shiny variants, Pichu, Pikachu, and Raichu, normal variants with the Halloween hat costume, the new Mimikyu hat. Um, it says, with this discovery, we're expecting the Game Master to be an update soon and show which moves do new Gen 3 ghosts have. Soon, trainers, soon. Now, this is the Mimikyu hat we're going to be getting. This is the Halloween Pichu, Halloween Pikachu, and the Halloween Raichu. We're also going to get Sableye, and then this is actually the uh, shiny variant. As you can see, it's actually the, uh, it's like a shiny yellowish gold or whatever. And then that's the regular one, as you can see, and then you got Shuffet, and then you got uh, the shiny variant of Shuffet, Bayonet, and then that's the shiny Bayonet. Then Dust Skull, that's the shiny Dust Skull, and then you got Dust Clop, and you got uh, shiny Dust Clop, which is actually cool because now we got um, red Gyarados, and now we got red Dust Skull and red Dust Clops. So that's pretty dope. So, um, yeah, so that's it for that. So that should already, you know, amp you up uh, as Gen 3 is rolling in. So stay tuned, and um, yeah, let's get into another topic. Alright, so here it says, Gen 3 Pokemon added to Game Master Candy, oh, the Game Master, Candy Requirements, Stats, Playfolder Moves, and Buddy Distance. It says here, Trainers, this morning the Game Master file has changed again, adding all of the Gen 3 Pokemon stats, Capture, Encounter, Info, Camera Movement, Jump Sequence, Hit Box Size, etc. And Evolution Candy Requirements. Um, it says here, as of, the, as of the time of this writing, all newly added Pokemon have placeholder moves such as tackle, struggle, and buddy distance with its 5k MA. No sight of abilities or new moves uh, yet, but we're expecting them in a later game master update. In addition, Latios and Latios genders have been fixed because see, a lot of people were thinking that they had all of the uh, male and female, um, uh, you know, on every Pokemon, and they don't. Just yet, at least not on Latios and Latios. Uh, so they was just basically saying that it, it has been fixed. Um, Cause uh, a lot of people, I don't know, like I guess they thought Latios and Latias was gonna be spawning in the um, in, in in the wild, and actually it's not because they're actually rare Pokemon. They're um, legendary basically, so they're not gonna be spawning in, in the wild. They don't have. Um, they basically just fixed the uh, the gender. That's basically what what they're saying. Um, so yeah, let's see what else. Just here, we are in the process of updating our database with the new info. The new game master file can be explored here, and you can find all of the new buddy system uh, distance in our generation 3 evolution chart, which is now updated with the latest correct info. 
Compared to Gen 1 and 2, almost nothing changed in terms of evolution requirements. Two stage evolution lines cost 50 candy with the exception of the Phoebus line. Three stage evolution lines cost 25 to 100 candy with the exception of Wormful and Wismer lines. All split evolution lines cost 50 candy, including Nakata and Ninjask slash Shed Engine because it evolved to Shed Engine. As hinted above, Niantic did manage to surprise us with a few evolution lines. Feebas to Milotic cost only 100 candy, Wormful to Cascoon Silk and cost only 12 candy, Wismer to Loudre cost only 12 candy. We expect that the Feebas line will likely have a buddy distance requirement, while Wormful and Wismer will become the new Pidgey Caterpie mass evolution fodder. Now, these are the uh, Curlia game master examples. I'm not gonna read them all, but you can just like look at it as I scroll. Now, as I'm scrolling through here, um, as you can see, all of this is basically in the uh, game master code. And yeah. So we're getting really close to Gen 3 now. We're gonna have some Gen 3 um, in the Halloween event. But uh, here's where it really starts getting good. Um, I have two more topics and then we'll wrap this up. But it's already been over 11 minutes and uh, yeah, I'm just making up for lost time. So basically, uh, if y'all think I'm reading this kind of fast, if it feels like I'm reading this fast, I kind of am because I'm trying to get to the juicy stuff. And this, is, this was wonderful, but it's not like, you know, as juicy as this is. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is what we've been all been waiting for, the Halloween event. It says here, Pokemon Go Halloween 2017 event. It says, the Pokemon Go Halloween 2017 event is taking place from, or on October 20th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It runs until November 2nd at 1 p.m. Uh, features select generation one, two, and three Ghost Pokemon. Uh, it says, in addition, trainers will earn extra candy rewards and buddy Pokemon will earn two times uh, earn candy two times as fast and it includes super incubators and raid pass sale. Now, I'm going to actually read it from Niantic's uh, actual website. So, cause this is from Pokemon Go Hub because that will actually give us more detail. So guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is the official Niantic Halloween special that we're going to be getting. Now, as you all heard of what I said on Pokemon Go Hub's version, but this is Niantic's version because this is their website, official website. So it says here, Halloween treats coming to Pokemon Go. This is what we're going to be getting. So it says Ghastly, Drowsy, Cubone, and other spooky Pokemon are back again this Halloween because we had the same thing last year. But, and this time they're bringing some special friends. Sableye, Bayonet, and a few other ghost type Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region will be making their first ever appearance of Pokemon Go. So, basically, it's not gonna be just Bayonet, it's not gonna be just, um, you know, uh, Duskull, well, it's, it's gonna be a lot more, put it that way. So that's good, but it's not full Gen 3, but it's just the ghost type. So obviously, it's, it's probably gonna be ghost types and, and dark types. So, it says, uh, the rest of the Pokemon first seen in the Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire video games will gradually arrive starting as early as, as December. So technically, this month is already in the middle of the, we already in the middle of October. So October to November, that's a month, so about, about a month and a half, we should start seeing um, the new Gen 3 Pokemon, uh, or at least the rest of them, which I really was hoping they was gonna release it this month, but, uh, some people were saying we was going to get it next year or the end of this year, which they was right, but I was also right in the same token because I also was saying. Alright, sorry about that, guys. So, it says, we hope, um, yeah, so basically, because I was basically, the reason why I felt like I was right was because of the fact, uh, I did still say uh, we was going to mention that we was going to get Gen 3, and actually we are getting Gen 3, and it actually starts tomorrow. So we're gonna get back in, into this here. So it says, uh, we hope trainers enjoy this special Halloween treat. The Halloween celebration will start on October 20th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and run until November 2nd at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
So, like I said, that's the, that's two weeks. And I knew we were going to get two weeks because, like we had last year. So it says, a special Pikachu will be out celebrating Halloween in an all-new costume. And you can so, dress up your avatar for occasion by wearing Mimikyu's disguise hat. You'll also earn extra candy while you're out trick-or-treating with your buddy Pokemon. Candy rewards from catching, hatching, and transferring Pokemon will be doubled. And your buddy will find candy twice as fast during the Halloween celebration. Last but not least, you'll have the opportunity to stock up for your upcoming adventures with special boxes from the in-game shop featuring items such as raid passes and super in incubators. So, I hope we get lucky eggs. I mean, we should be able to get lucky eggs because that that makes sense. Now, before I was saying that this game, like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you my thoughts uh, towards the end. But uh, let's just read the rest of this. It says, while you're out looking for Sableye, Bayonet, and other spooky Pokemon, use your Pokemon Go AR camera to capture festive photos and share them on social media using hashtag Pokemon Go Halloween. As always, make sure to remain alert and aware of your surroundings while playing Pokemon Go this evening the Pokemon Go team. So that's the official announcement. Now, I give this event an 85 because um, it's just like last year when we got the baby Pokemon first and then we started seeing Gen 2 Pokemon gradually come into the game. But now it's going to be Gen 3, so now they've given us the ghost types first and then they're gradually bringing in the uh, other Gen 3 Pokemon. Now how I feel, this this is my own feel, I, I, I can say at 85% because they should have added XP, I mean double XP and um, double starter, which they did so they already failed doing that. But they still, Niantic is still making this money though. <laughs> but in a way, so to speak, it makes sense, because I was thinking about this before, the reason why it makes sense is, is simply because they need something for us to double up on when we're catching brand new Pokemon. And they also getting, you know, hopefully, you know, the new gym raids, or they might be switching around the gym bosses. So we're gonna need something to double up and they're gonna probably come in with uh, double XP and double Stardust because if we had double XP now, it'd be no point because when the uh, Pokemon come out, all we need to do is catch, you know, capture most of the Pokemon. We'll have to evolve them. Once we evolve them, we'll have enough Stardust to power them up. So with that being said, um, although we still would need candy so to power them up and that's why we get the double candy here. So. It's half and half, so they're trying to leave half for now and half for later, which is understandable. But, uh, yeah, so basically, um, I have one more thing to share with you guys, and then uh, we'll wrap this up. Stay tuned. All right, guys, if you have not yet heard, um, basically, my video just cut off, so I have to basically restart. So, anyway, let's get back into this. So it says, new wave of x-ray in-flights has gone live the x-ray at 12 p.m. October 20th which actually is tomorrow um now a lot of people have gotten their raid passes I have yet to get one to even catch Mewtwo but uh let's get into this so let's just see a trainer just as we finish publishing that gen 3 ratios gender ratios forms and spawns spawn definitions are now live in the game master We've observed a new wave of X EX raid passes being sent out worldwide as usual. Read our Mewtwo raid guide to prepare. So you just click on that and uh, you just actually find out what you gotta do to prepare. Now since we can confirm that a new EX raid is happening on October 20th, 2017 in sponsored and non-sponsored gyms worldwide. The EX raid only lasts about for 45 minutes, probably as an experiment to see how EX raid duration uh, affects player engagement and attendance. Now, it says here, this wave of invites also confirms scientific statement that EX raid testing is not yet finished. Hopefully, everyone will be able to get a mutual before the field test ends. We confirmed that EX raid invites were, re were received in the following countries slash territories, Argentina, Germany, Brazil, USA, which is us, New Zealand, France, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, Alaska, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Spain, Sweden, Chile, the Netherlands, Japan, Finland, Mexico, Peru, and are you gay? Or Uruguay. I didn't want to put you that name. Anyway, a special shout out goes to the Pokemon Go Hub ES crew for reporting this literally seconds after it happened. Now, these are people that have gotten their raid passes and so forth and so on. Uh, 
of course that's good old reversal. So if we're not mistaken, this seems to be the largest EX Ray test to date, covering all almost all territories where the game is available. Even Reversal got a Ray test this time around. My man Reversal, shout out to him. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, they came back out basically with the X-rays, and that's basically what they're saying. They back out with the X-rays, and it's only going to last until tomorrow at 12 p.m. Uh, on the, the 20th. Uh, right after that, uh, they're going to actually start back with, um, you know, fixing the whole EX rays and stuff like that, so that way everybody can get their Mewtwo, hopefully, because of course you need an invite. So this is the only time to actually get your Ray Pass. But if you haven't started already battling, you know, gems or whatever, I suggest you do that now, because that's what I'm doing too. I'm, I'm trying to still get me too, but I mean, it's still a challenge and it still gives us something to do too. Now, with the Halloween event, uh, basically what's going on with that is um, we basically got Pikachu hat, shiny Pokemon, uh, non-shiny Gen 3 Pokemon. We have the uh, Mimikyu hat for the trainers. And then on top of that, we still got Suicune on the 1st of no, uh, November, which is next month. Uh, and that's like a few days, that's like a few weeks away or a couple weeks away so guys um that's gonna wrap this up and uh make sure you guys have fun uh, because we still get the double candy and the uh you know new pokemon whatever and um you also get the buddy candy too so that's pretty cool too so you just walk with your pokemon and uh it'll, you know collect uh yeah candy now as me as for me if you already don't have you know, candy already, you know, already stored in your item list uh, because of doing raids, whatever, then I suggest you just, you know, go all out and do, do what you can to get your, uh, to get your, your candy. Because remember, you get double candy, so with double candy on top of the candy that you get from, you know, completing raids, you'll have Bayonet, Dust Skull, whatever, evolve form in, in no time. So guys, that's gonna wrap this video up and uh, make sure you guys uh, like, comment, sub, share this video where we share cool stuff, comment down below, smack a like on this video, and uh, yeah, and uh, make sure you guys crush that notification bell so you can stay updated on my latest videos, and uh, yeah guys, that's gonna wrap this up, and as always, peace and love, and stay blessed, and I'm out, Vortex Style.